tutorial, I'll guide you through how to clean a data set before you input it in Stata. Stata is a very versatile program that can very easily read with many different types of data. But the way that you import it is very important if you'd like to understand how to actually and easily adopt these data sets to something that is useful. So today, I'll give you a many time series information. And say that we'd like to get the household debt to GDP ratio in the US. We just search the database and there we get the time series that we need. Now this time series, household debt to GDP for the US, we can open up and here we can see that it ranges from 2005 to 2020. And we can subsequently download the data and give it me in an Excel form. Stata also accepts CSV, it's just slightly more annoying to save. So for now, I just open it up as an Excel form. And if you get this data, there are a couple of things that you need to take into account. So when collecting data via, to import it into Stata, you really want to make sure that the following things hold at all times. So after opening up the data set, you see that it looks a little bit messy. There are many things that go on here. First of all, you have the sheet on which the data is uploaded. It's very important that you always import the right sheet later on in Stata. If you only need one sheet, remove everything else. It's just easiest to work with that to prevent mistakes. It doesn't matter much. You can specifically select it, but just in case, it's usually easier to clean all of this out. Now what Stata does by default is that it uses the first row so basically this line here as the variable names and it doesn't deal well with spaces. So take this into account. Now, if you would just upload this data in Stata directly, what you would get is a abbreviated version of this name with probably here some underscores or it glitches and it doesn't take the last part. And you'd get here variable two insert it, which is not exactly the thing that you want it to be named and how it should work, because it's really opaque what exactly this variable is. So what is best to do before you actually import all the data in Stata is to clean out this stuff. So you remove everything up to here, because you don't need it. And then you give this a date or name that is very recognizable. So say we just call this date. And this also is quite hard to read. So let's call it debt GDP households. What I'd always recommend you to do is to delete anything from the file that you're not going to use. The Stata imports primarily everything in one go. So, that, so it is easiest to just have the file as is. And then subsequently, what you want to do is give everything names that are similar across the files that you input. So there must be similar and they must be easily to read by Stata. In order to work with this data efficiently, I'd strongly recommend you to give everything in small caps and never to use spaces. It's way better to use underscores like we do here. This prevents many, many, many issues moving forward. So thank you all for listening to this first tutorial on how to clean your data before putting everything in Stata. In the next tutorial, we'll actually go through how to import these files. Thank you for listening.